Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with each and every one of you. And I'm curious, how is your November going? If it's like mine, I have noticed that there has been a pickup in activities and things that are pulling at me and the shift in the weather and the seasons. And I love all of it, but I'm finding I get to keep rebalancing and I get to keep choosing what I focus in on. I get to carve out time to be mindful and present in my life, in my business, in my relationships, and all the different things. And I'm curious, listeners, if you're finding that you're being pulled a lot of directions well as well, are you finding that it, it feels the same? And maybe there's a slowdown for you. It's so different, each of our experiences. What I have discovered is really key during this season, whatever your experience is, that it's so important that we remember to choose to be mindful, that we choose to be present in our life, in our business, that we don't let it just pass us by. (laughs) Today, we have three amazing experts joining us. And we're going to be talking about being mindful in our life, in our business. We have two of our experts are actually launching something really special that can be very supportive in your business and life. We have an expert that specializes in really helping us be mindful and paying attention to the mental health. You know, how are we showing up? What are we facing? How are we navigating? So I know we have a rich, rich show experience for each of you today. So I'm just honored to have you all joining us. I want you to be able to get the most out of our time together today. So to do so, I want to encourage you to take a deep breath in through your nose, all the way to your toes, breathe out, beautiful, I find breath is a wonderful way to be present as we slow down and we become mindful, aware of our breath in and out. It helps us slow down, lowers our stress levels, our cortisol levels, helps us focus in and have clarity. As we breathe in, we can picture breathing in that support to encourage and empower us. As we breathe out, we can release all those things that no longer serve creating room and space for ourselves and for more. And it also gives you the opportunity as you lean into our conversation to have that room and space to receive, to be poured into, to open your ears to hear your hearts to receive and know there is something really special for you. There's a reason you're here today and I want you to receive it. So I encourage you to lean in, choose to be fully present, and be willing to receive everything here that serves. And with that, we're going to go and take a moment and listen to our hearts. Sometimes we're moving so fast we forget. (laughs) So let's take another deep breath. Close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. Put both hands on your heart. Notice your heartbeat. Keep breathing. And as you center and listen to your heartbeat, what is it saying to you? Perhaps the pauses in between the beat of the heart. What is it that you need today that will encourage you, empower you, support you? What do you need real time to empower you, uplift you on your journey? And just listen. See what your heart shares. What is it that you need? And are willing to receive because you have choice. <laughs> what is it that you need? And are willing to receive. 
Beautiful. Let's take another breath. Come back into the room, eyes open, fully present. I know for me, I could tell I really needed this time with each of you, this moment of connection and slowing down today. So I'm very grateful for that. My heart was reminding me how important that deep breath and connection is. We're going to go around our virtual room and see what was laid on each of our guests' heart. With that, Janet, I'd love for you to share what was laid on your heart. Thank you, Rebecca. The thing that is on my heart is thinking about that mind and body connection. And the breath is such an integral part of that. And it's releasing not just the physical stress, but also some of that mental stress that we carry around. I love that. I love how that breath ties it all together, too. Um, thank you. You're right, because there is that mental <laughs> noise that can happen as well. Oh, beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Lisa, how about you? What was laid on your heart? Oh, uh, thank you, Rebecca. Uh, today, as you know, is a very special day for myself and Bill, and so my heart is so full today already with gratitude uh, for my friends, my family, and my colleagues and the support that they've shown Belle and myself as we uh, jumped off the cliff um, on our new adventure. So I'm just feeling, I'm just full of gratitude today. Mm, I love that. I can feel it <laughs> as you, as you <laughs> share and say, um, full and overflowing, uh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. And how about you, Belle? What was laid on your heart? Yeah, th thank you so much for that moment of deep breaths. That is also what, and uh, I guess my my heart today is an exercise in capacity, right? How much love can it hold? Because it's getting pretty full already, but um, I don't know that there's a limit, and I'm excited to see <laughs> how that goes today. Oh, I love that. What a beautiful perspective. If we could all look at how much love can our heart hold <laughs> and see it stretch and expand. I love it. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so much, Belle. That makes me smile. Thank I love you. it. Mm -hmm. And listeners, how about you? As you took a moment to stop, pause, listen, feel in, what was laid on your heart? Perhaps something that one of our guests shared has added another layer and perspective. I encourage you as we get ready to go to our first commercial break to stay present, to keep listening, seeing, and receiving. Discover what's being poured into your heart and spirit. And we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Follow Voice America at Facebook.com forward slash Voice America for juicy updates from your favorite radio shows and podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa. Play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. 
It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes. It's amazing what a difference two minutes can make. When we are mindful, present, pausing, really tuning in. We've built those two-minute moments throughout the show on purpose to support you. I encourage you when we have those moments disguised as commercial breaks with great tips and information we want you to be aware of, it's also an opportunity to choose to be present, to process what's being shared and both what you're hearing as well as what you're discovering as you listen. I invite you to really use those moments, let them serve and support you. So welcome back, everybody. We're talking about mindfulness and life and business, and I'm excited to introduce our first guest. Janet Barrett is a mental health advocate, speaker, author, and founder of Cerebral Health Company, and it's a, I'm sorry, Cerebral Health, and it is a company (laughs) focused on eliminating the stigma around mental health. She is passionate about helping you thrive. Please lean in. Warmly welcome the powerful, dynamic, and centered Janet Barrett. Welcome. Thank you so much, Rebecca. I'm so excited to be here. You are very, very welcome. Thrilled to have you here with us today. And your area of expertise is so timely, especially for this time of year uh, with all the different dynamics we face. And I would love for you to share why. Why is this work of supporting people in this way so important to you? Um, It's important to me for many reasons, but honestly, it's because I didn't know about it when I was younger, about how we could really take charge of our own mental health, even in small ways. And Mm -hmm. so once I figured that out, I realized I wanted to share that with other people because not everybody has learned about that. Absolutely. And I love that you're leaning back in a sense and out to help so many people discover what it took you longer to learn and you get to create a shorter path for them (laughs) and empower them on their journey. I love it. I love it. Thank you. So absolutely. So focusing in specifically, if we're looking at mental health and mindfulness in the holidays, what can help us? become more mindful, especially during the holidays? What do you find is something we can do that can help us shift in that space? So I think this is a really challenging time of year, just simply the pace that everything goes at. Mm -hmm. And the world in general has so many challenges going on that simply doing what you told everyone to do at the beginning, take a breath, is huge. But to not just take that physical breath, to also take a mental breath Mm. where when you pause and take a moment to calm your body down, to smell the roses, to also just take a moment and say, what is going on in my mind? What is spinning around up there? What is it that's taking up my mental energy? And if you can pause and just recognize what it is, it will help you know where you need to focus And it will also help you know what is it that is bothering you or keeping you from actually being present and mindful. And then Mm. you can take the time to actually address it. But most of the time we go through life so quickly that we don't take that second to just simply say, what is going on inside my mind? I I love this. And I love that concept of a mental breath. Um, To me, that's Mm -hmm. like... Um, a key phrase, a little gem <laughs> we can take with us already as a reminder, a mental breath. And are there 
tips or techniques? I know for myself, sometimes when I have things swirling around in me or that thing that wakes me up at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., if I can just take a moment and write it down, somehow it helps it stop swirling around in me and I can separate and look at it a little bit differently. I find that journaling or that writing helps me do that. I don't know if you find that's the case with other people or if you have some suggestions on what we can do to help us with that mental breath. So that middle of the night writing things down is one of the biggest lessons that I share. Mm. And if you're like me and you have really bad handwriting and bad eyesight, (laughs) waking up in the middle of the night and trying to actually write something down can be challenging. Mm -hmm. So what I recommend to people is you need to get it out of your head. Because that swirling up there isn't going to stop until you just shine a little bit of light on it. And so what I do is most of us have devices that can be voice activated. Mm -hmm. So simply voice activate. For me, it's Siri. So, hey, Siri, take a note. I say it. As soon as I do, my mind has the confidence that it's been captured. So I don't have to continue thinking about it. And I can go back to sleep very quickly. Mm. So that is absolutely one of the best tips that I have for having that good night of sleep. But the other tip that I have is to know kind of what are the warning signs that you have, both physically and activity-wise, that show that you're in a place where you really need to take that mental break, that mental Mm -hmm. breath. Mm -hmm. And it might be you have headaches or your shoulders are tense or you're not responding to text, but just be aware of those. So you say, okay, I know I'm having these warning signs pop up. Let me take that mental breath and look inside to see what I need to actually deal with. I I love that. Paying attention to the warning signs. I I think of this sometimes like the red light, green light, yellow. (laughs) And Mm -hmm. If, if I can notice something when it's at that yellow level before it gets to the red level or more serious, it's much more manageable to shift or deal with um, it before it becomes an urgent thing. Um, I don't know if you have a, a system that can help us because I think when we're so busy, sometimes we're not even paying attention. So I love that noticing the headaches or noticing distraction or, or I don't know, if brain fog or if there are any other little Mm-hmm. yellow light things, warning lights that we should be paying attention to This can help us kind of pause, take that mental breath, that mental break before things become more um, serious. So I believe that everyone has their own individual signs. Mm-hmm. And so what I like to do is to work with people and say, okay, let's figure out what your signs are because they will be slightly different. Mm-hmm. But the key is to then write them down. And if you actually write them down and print it out, or if you handwrite things and have it on a piece of paper, put it in a location that you interact with every day. So my list of warning signs are actually taped right here to my computer that's sitting in front of me because I'm at my computer all day. Some people it's in their car, some people it's on the refrigerator, wherever it is, that's going to keep those top of mind because then it forces you to be a little bit more accountable. When you Mm -hmm. see in front of you, you know, shoulders hunching or headaches or mindlessly scrolling the internet, which is one of my morning signs. If you see it in front of you, it just brings that awareness to a much higher level. So you can say, you know what, that means I'm in yellow Mm -hmm. and it forces you to make that accountability for yourself as opposed to, you know, waiting until it becomes such a massive explosion that you have to deal with it. It stops it from becoming red and keeps it in the green and the yellow. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I love that. I'm even picturing what a a great practice it could be to have that as part of your routine where you do a quick check-in (laughs) at a certain time of the day or um, maybe a couple of times a day just to, to make sure everything is staying in the green or the yellow and um, being addressed. Um, So I love that. I love that keeping it in front of us, keeping it top of mind. So we're aware and paying attention. 
I love that. And one of the things that I know absolutely that you also talk about is an emotional base camp. Do you mind sharing what Mm -hmm. is an emotional base camp and how can this help us? So I talk about being an emotional Sherpa and that we carry a lot of emotional baggage with us and we don't really take the time to set it down. So if you think about the real Sherpas that are in Nepal and their job is to lead expeditions up to the summit of Mount Everest, carrying a heavier load than anyone else and doing it without supplemental oxygen. And they go up to the summit, they come back down to a base camp where they set everything down. That base camp is actually physically a spot where they know that expedition has ended and they're ready to move on. Mm. But we don't get those in our everyday life but we need them. And so Mm. we have to make a point of giving ourselves a time to have a base camp and it can be really small. So one of my favorite times to make my own little base camp where I'm going to set down some of that baggage that I've been carrying around is when I am driving to an event, to a meeting, to wherever, and I get to a parking lot and I put my car in the park and I take a really big breath, like you just said, And I let it out and I kind of shake my body a little bit Mm -hmm. and it actually lets your body physically release some stress, but it also lets your mind release some of the stuff that you've been carrying inside you. Mm. And then if you need a much bigger face camp because some major event happens in your life, make more time for that. Mm -hmm. But you need to make those planned face camps to actually release some of those emotions and it allows you to then be more mindful and more present in your life as you go through your day. Wonderful. And I love how you've built that into the rhythm of your life. It's just brilliant. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. And I also know that you have a book, Stop the Break, and I'd love for you to take a moment and just share a little bit about this. I, I love for our listeners to have great resources to tap into. Thank you. So the title, Stop the Break, talks about those times in life, and it might be small, it might be big, where we have those little breaks. We've taken on too much and we just can't take anything more. I give the example of you're going through your day and you have a million emails, a ton of phone calls, people are texting you, stopping in, you have all of these demands. One of your kids gets sick, you have to go pick them up from school, and you walk into your house, and all of your kids' shoes are there in front of you, and you're just like, put your shoes away, and you just get so mad about the fact that the shoes are out, but that's not really it. That's not why you've yelled at the kids or whatever. It's because you couldn't take one more thing. And that's the breaks that we want to stop. We want to stop having those breaks in our life. And again, Mm -hmm. it might be small like that one. It could be big where you have gone a couple of decades and not been able to actually deal with some of the things going on. And then you have a large break. And I say that because I had that happen to me and that's what prompted this entire process and understanding and writing this book that I found out there's a lot of things we can do like having those base camps so that we don't have those small breaks and that we don't end up having a really large break. Mm -hmm. And so that's what Stop the Break is about. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. You've given us, I have a page of notes, great insights, (laughs) tips, practices that I can um, now fold into uh, my life and the rhythm of it. And I'm sure our listeners have gotten some really great insights as well. So I really appreciate your time and sharing of your wisdom and insight and excited about your book, Stop the Break. And listeners, we are going to bring Janet back on at the end and she will share where you can get her amazing book as well as the best way to connect in with her and go deeper. So I encourage you to stay tuned, be looking forward to that information and connection. And we are now going to our next commercial break. And as we do so, I encourage you to take a mental breath. (laughs) Breathe, pause, 
see if you need to move your shoulders a little bit. Let's apply some of these things we're learning and we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Birdie told me Voice America is on X. Follow us at Voice America TRN. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa. Play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or a comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that mental breath, <laughs> that time to pause, to reflect to move, and to check in. Now, one of the things we talked about in the beginning of the show, when we're taking a moment to check in with our heart and, and really listen and receive and see what's being laid on our heart, Lisa and Belle shared that they have something amazing that is launching today that's coming out into the world. And they were sharing a little bit of how that that felt <laughs> from feeling uh, great gratefulness to seeing how big, how much love can my heart hold, uh, which are just what beautiful approaches to bringing something forward, launching it, and sharing it in the world. And so I'm going to take a moment to introduce each of them and have them share what they are bringing forward. And I ask that you lean in, you hold space whenever you're launching something. It's such a powerful transform transformational experience, but it's also kind of trusting the world with what you're bringing forward. So let's celebrate, lean in, and listen with eager anticipation and excitement, discover what they are bringing into the world. So let me introduce Lisa Levesque. She is a business executive, a master coach who helps small business owners achieve their goals. She has a B Bachelor of Science in Accounting, an MBA, and she's absolutely passionate about helping you achieve your goals. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful, dynamic, and grateful Lisa Levesque. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Well, I'm excited to have you here. I know it's a busy day when you're launching something. And I wanted to start the conversation with why, why is the work that you do important and what is it you guys are launching? 
Yeah, um, thank you. Well, first of all, maybe I'll start with the second question. So we have um, co-authored a book, um, and it's a book, um, it's a business book, but it's not your typical business book. So um, we're, we're, we've introduced uh, a storyline between two powerful women um, and who are kind of learning with each other and through each other on how to be the best they can be um, as part of as, as a business owner. Um, so it's pretty exciting. We're we're very excited to share it with everyone. I love it. And what is your book that is now available in the world? What is yes. it called? <laughs> It is called Generation Innovation, and then the, the the sub is Business, Family, and the Journey to Success, because we're trying to really take a look at the whole person through all of this and the importance of every element of your life in your success, and they're, they're kind of, and how the lines blur. I, I love it. I love it. And is there something that um, you're just so excited to be able to bring the world maybe an intention you had in co-creating this book with Belle that you're bringing forward. And and actually, can I also add, and I'd love for you to share what it's been like to work with an amazing co-author. Yeah. Oh, it, I can't say enough about how wonderful it is to work with Belle. Um, she and I hit it off from the start. And, you know, we're in very different stages of our lives. Her, she's a lot younger. She's got very different experiences. We live on two different coasts of the country. Um, the business environments on each of our coasts are slightly different. Um, and And so to work with someone who has um, a sharp mind and a very, um, really kind of a different point of view. She's coming at business um, in a different way than I did. Um, I, when I think about when I started business, I was still wearing those like bo silk bow ties with my blouses mm -hmm. and, you know, people smoked in the offices and, you know, Belle came into the business world where there were cool businesses like Google, which, you know, I've never heard of. So we have very different starting places, but somehow we were able to um, appreciate our differences and celebrate our sameness. Um, to the point where um, I don't think our book could ever have been um, what it is today if we didn't have those two very different perspectives. Mm, I love it. What a rich, rich piece that has gone into creating this book and um, woven together. I, I just love that you guys were able to come together in such a powerful, dynamic way. And I know you have created just a, a beautiful friendship um, and the journey as well. And I love that you're able to bring all of those things together and launch something so powerful into the world. That's very exciting. Yeah, and you know what is also even more exciting is that, you know, we've we've done all of this. We've never even physically been in the same room together, mm -hmm. but that didn't in any way kind of, I don't think, inhibit um, our professional and personal bond. I mean, we were able to get past that, and I, feel, I don't even feel like I haven't met her in person because I feel like we've been so connected for so long. I love it. I love it. Well, let's bring on Belle and have her join our conversation. Um, Belle Walker takes organizations from fiction to function and engagement by aligning ways of working with their strategic goals. She has a mechanical engineering degree from Harvard and a system engineering master's, and she's absolutely passionate about efficiency, engagement, and powerful aligned results. Please welcome the powerful, dynamic, and aligned Belle Walker to the show. Welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. And uh, I am, I'm pretty excited that this is a radio show because I'm just sitting here blushing my face off. <laughs> With your heart expanding, too. And I love that. <laughs> yes, continuously. Mm -hmm. uh, so welcome. I'm, I'm thrilled to have you joining us. And this is a launch day. And I know that is an especially busy time as you are sharing your book out into the world. And I'd love for you to take a moment and from your perspective, share why this book is something that's become so important to you that you're excited to bring to the world and maybe something really special about it. 
Yeah, I I think Lisa really emphasized how uh, powerful and wonderful this connection we have has been. And we started writing together, actually writing articles. Um, and after we did that for a while, it kind of felt like the obvious conversation to say, should we write a book? And we really said, yes, we'd like to, but we're not going to do it just to have written a book. We need to find something we care about. Mm -hmm. um, and when we started looking at what books had spoken to each of us, we realized that we really prefer the narrative style, right? Having a story, having that connection um, and learning that way. But we didn't see anyone who had used that style for business basics. We didn't see mm -hmm. anyone who had used that style to truly center women in the narrative. Um, there were more that were including women, but not centering. And that for us then shaped um, this, this idea of something that, that really we wanted to read mm -hmm. and we couldn't find. So we decided to write. I love it. You saw the gap and you filled it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Uh, and working uh, with a co-author, because I know that writing is a journey, and I'd love, we got yeah. Lisa's perspective, and I'd love your perspective, what it's been like to work with an amazing co-author um, like Lisa and creating something so powerful that you're now releasing into the world. Yeah, we we really have been so lucky. Um, building on everything Lisa said, our our styles are somehow different and similar. Um, so we did mm. also work with a fantastic editor, um, Ernesto Meister Reed, and he was commenting that he couldn't tell which of us had written which chapters. Um, mm. And that's been delightful. But also there are these elements that I know when there's beautiful imagery, that's Lisa. Mm. <laughs> when there's that kind of, really like right to the point, tight, tight moment, that's often me. And so kind of bringing our styles together has created this world where we, I think, get that blending of styles that has really just uplifted and enhanced what either of us could have done on our own. Mm, I love that. And that's really unique that the editor couldn't even tell when one started <laughs> and the other stopped that they blended together um, so beautifully. So I, I love knowing that. Um, and we've been mentioning that the book is launching today. So I'm just going to share for a moment about that. So one of the things that means and one of the things I'm excited to share about on the show, listeners, as this launch is happening today, there is a special rate. So you are able to add this book in this digital format to your library for the special rate of $1.99. And that's only available for the first 24, maybe 48 hours, definitely 24. So this is one of those things to lean in on, take action. It is available on Amazon. So you can look it up and by look it up by title or look it up by either of our guest names and you'll be able to lean in. You can also find it in our social media feeds. We're sharing out about it as well that you can lean in Generation Innovation and get your copy today. We are so proud of what they've created. I think it adds a very unique voice in this space and are excited to have them on our show during their launch. So we do encourage you to lean in, check it out. We'd love your support and sharing it out. And I'd love for uh, Lisa, if you could describe the cover so people know what to, to know they found it, <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> oh, what I love most about the cover is the simplicity of mm -hmm. the cover. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, Belle and I spent some time with um, the individual who did our cover design, Calvin Nelson, shout out. Um, and, and he gave us multiple options, but we love what he, this, he came up with. It's literally a single line drawing of two women facing each other, having a conversation. And, um, you know, it's a white line drawing with a blue background. Um, you know, couldn't be more simple, but, you know, exactly what our book is all about. You know, it's a mother and daughter working together, collaborating, learning together. Um, and so we're, we're pretty proud of the cover. Mm, I love it. Bell, do you have anything you want to add to that about the cover um, and today? 
Uh, nothing to add about the cover. Um, mm-hmm. Just to say that today has been an, an adventure and a journey and you know, at least in California, it's not even 11 a.m. So thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to share live uh, with all of your listeners uh, on such a momentous day. <laughs> Absolutely. We're very excited. And I can't wait to see all the hearts and lives that are reached as you bring your powerful book forward. I know that you've already seen activity in the U.S. and Canada and Spain. And um, we're excited to see all the countries <laughs> that it will ripple out to. So just know that we are celebrating with you. We're going to see how much love your heart can hold and all of the gratitude that you express, Lisa, flowing out out and know that we're all standing behind you and celebrating this book's birthday and having it uh, come out into the world. Uh, So thank you both for joining us and we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break and I encourage listeners to take a moment and really take in some of what Lisa and Belle have shared. I love how they, they saw that gap in the types of business books they would love to read and so they've created that. I love the partnership that has been created and I love how present they are in that and what a wonderful example for us when we're thinking about bringing things forward, co-creating, staying present and really learning how to weave our gifts together in such a dynamic, powerful way. So enjoy these two minutes and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Voice America is on your favorite smart speaker. If you have Alexa or Google Home, go ahead and give us a try. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast on TuneIn. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You need to live up to your full potential. You've heard that for years, but now there's a channel to help you get there. Introducing the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Our listeners have told us that they want to be motivated, hear about success stories, and positive encouragement around the clock. And we've responded to you. The Voice America Empowerment Channel is the home of the world's top life coaches, entrepreneurs, and success experts. Listen to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's here at voiceamericaempowerment.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that two-minute mental breath, as we're calling them today, an opportunity to take a breath and breathe in all those things that are serving and supporting you. One thing I love to remind everybody, especially when we're looking at mindfulness and we're talking about life and business and finding that balance and, and really bringing forward those things that matter to us. It's really important to remember life is not a solo journey. I don't know where that myth got started. I am committed to busting it. (laughs) You get to have support on your journey. It's so important. I celebrate that you leaned into our conversation today, and I hope that this has been empowering and supportive of you 
And I want to encourage you to build that ongoing support into your life. All of the things we've talked about are some tips that can help you on your journey about taking, paying attention to those warning signs, building in that pause. Is there a yellow, yellow warning? Is that something to pay attention? How to get it out of you? I love the example we've been given of Lisa and Belle weaving together and honoring that call to create something together and really doing something in such a deep, powerful, and meaningful way. Some of the support you can build in is making sure you have programs like this, resources that are pouring into you, that are uplifting, supporting you. Build those things into your life. Take a moment to fill your library with resources that can support you. I'm going to have our experts share their contact information, share where you can get their books, so that you're able to easily lean into connecting on a deeper level. It's on purpose that we're sharing that information with you so you can lean in and connect. So you can add books that are going to be supportive of you to your library. And then I also want to encourage you as you go back out into the day, take that pause first, then choose your step and make sure to reach out and encourage someone today. Share something that you see in them that is amazing or powerful. Take a moment to encourage and uplift so you can bring that mindfulness and that magic forward in this season. It's so wonderful to have those encouragements along the way. So that's my extra credit challenge for you today to lean in and start that ripple of showing and thinking and reflecting that gratefulness or that gift that you see in another, reminding them of that. So with that, I'm going to go around our room and have each of our guests share the best way to connect with them and go deeper, including how we can find their book. So Janet, I'm going to start with you. What's the best way for us to connect and go deeper? Thank you. So the best way to connect with me, I keep it really simple. You can go to my website, which is Janet, J-A-N-E-T hyphen Barrett, B as in boy, A-R-R-E-T-T dot com. And all of my contact information is there, depending on which social media platform you prefer. And if you would like to get my book, Stop the Break, it, it is available on any online retailers. Wonderful. I love it. And I'm glad that you kept it simple. We don't need things complicated. <laughs> so that is brilliant. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Lisa, what is the best way for us to connect in with you and um, give us the title of the book and the best place to find it? Yeah, so the best place to connect with me, I think, would be through LinkedIn. My website isn't as interactive, so it's mm -hmm. Lisa Levesque on LinkedIn. Message me. The last name is spelled L-E-V as in Victor, E-S-Q-U-E. I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to um, connect through the message again on LinkedIn. And um, our book, again, is called Generation Innovation, and right now it's available for sale on Amazon Digital. Perfect. And I'm going to add in that special rate of $1.99 because I oh. love a great deal. <laughs> so I want everyone Thank to you. be able to absolutely yeah. lean in and, and take advantage of that. Uh, wonderful. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. Yeah. And Belle, I'd love for you to share what is the best way for us to connect in with you and any final share that you have about the book. Awesome. Yeah. my The best way to reach me is probably through my website, uh, which is bellevueconsulting.com. Uh, that's B-E-L-L-E-V-I-E-W, my view of the world, bellevueconsulting.com. Uh, all my contact information is there. Wonderful. And I know the book is on Amazon, a special rate of $1.99 today, and we can follow you guys um, in social media as, as that's being shared out. And we'll definitely be sharing updates as well as they come in. So thank you, Belle. I appreciate it. And then this is going to be our speed round. I'm going to go around the room one more time and have each of you share if you have a final thought or piece of advice or something on your heart that you want to share with our listeners. Uh, just needs to be quick because I want to give everybody a round. And listeners, I encourage you to lean in and capture that insight or that reminder so you can take it with you as you go back into the day. Janet, 
What's your share? So thank you for having me. And my share is that if you get one of our books, Generation Innovation or Stop the Break, that after you've read it, that you share it with someone else and let them get the benefit of being able to read it and pass it around to as many people as possible. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa. Yeah, that was great, Dana. Thank you. Um, I My share is, you know, um, reminding ourselves of the joy of interacting with someone who's not normally in our lane. Just listening to Janet today um, gave me a whole different perspective on my thoughts and, and where I am. And so it was exciting to um, be able to interact with someone like that. So always find an opportunity to interact with someone who's not directly in your lane. It will definitely open your point of view. Mm, I love that. Absolutely. Belle. Wow, uh, going third is is high pressure here. Um, I, <laughs> the clock's ticking. <laughs> no, you're you're great. <laughs> I, I would uh, build on what Janet said, and please also share your feedback and your insights with us. Um, we've really gone out of our way to bring, I think, our experiences and what our passions to you. Um, and there's always room mm-hmm. to learn for for you, for us, for everyone. And so I and and I think Lisa and Janet would also. Love to hear what you took away and what you could add um, from the experience of, of connecting with our books. Oh, I love that. That's brilliant. Thank you. Grace under pressure. <laughs> Just beautiful, Belle. Thank you. <laughs> well, Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And listeners, I hope that you have just gained some just to me today has been very rich in what has been shared and what has been brought forward. I have enjoyed each of our guests and all that they have woven in. And one of the things I observed is as the show progressed, because this is live, they haven't all met each other <laughs> as as we come together. And yet the show always comes together and gets woven when everybody's willing to share from the heart and be part of something that we're co-creating together. And listeners, you are part of that. And we so value your feedback, your interaction. The reason we're here is for you. And so we thank you for joining us, for bringing your energy, for bringing your spirit, for holding this space for us. And we welcome the interaction. We welcome the connection and the feedback as you listen to the show. Feel free to reach out to us as you have questions. We've given you our contact information. So you're absolutely welcome to do that. We would love to hear from you as well. So any of those who have something you want to share with me as well, I always love to hear from you. You can find me at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. And there's a button you can click to really leave any feedback or comments or things that are on your heart. I'd love to hear from you. So again, that is yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. And a gift I'd love to give you today is for those of you who are looking to bring your message forward, to possibly be a guest on our show. Perhaps you're looking to get on more stages, touch more hearts and lives. So that's part of what has been placed on you as you're looking at your 2024 goals. Those are things on it. I encourage you to check out speakertalentsearch.com. Again, you can find that at speakertalentsearch.com. And this is a program that's part of our give back. It's a way that we help people who have messages, information they're wanting to bring forward, get on more stages. So it is time sensitive. There are deadlines tied with it. We're doing three of these searches in 2024. And the deadline for the March one is to have your application in by January 31st. So I encourage you to lean in, check it out, find a way to bring your message forward. And remember, you are a gift. There's no one else in the world just like you. In fact, I believe you're a gift made for such a time as this. And the biggest difference you can make, the biggest gift you can give the world is being willing to share more of you. So I encourage you, lean in, be willing to bloom where you're planted and shine. Share your gifts out into the world. Have an amazing week, everyone. And we'll talk to you next time.
Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel, with a replay on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific on the Voice America Variety Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.